Gotcha. All right. So the game opens up with the heroes aboard the bounty hunter ship that they have commandeered off of an asteroid mining facility. Dell is dead. He's not even with you. His head has exploded in that distant asteroid mining facility. And his family, he talked about, well, who knows? You might wonder, what would drive a guy to betray you? At the outset, he seemed like an okay guy. Was it really just the credits? Maybe it was. Or maybe he had a family and wanted to provide for them. But the best of your judgment can't help but think there must have been a better way to do it. After all, you all could have died. Or maybe he was strong-armed. Maybe his family on Corellia was in danger. Who knows? It's an interesting time full of possibilities. And though right now you can go anywhere you want, you're being piloted by Malek with Elsa as co-pilot to Bill Bringy. Now, before we move on, shortly after boarding, um, you guys found a few pleasant surprises on the ship. We sorted this out. Um, uh, we sorted this out on the uh, on the website, basically. But you found um, six frag grenades, um, two blaster rifles, a restraining boy, bolt, a med pack, a set of five stim packs, and two electronic lock breakers, a data pad, and 500 credits. But then most importantly, as soon as you guys board, you notice there's an astromech droid on board. And it's an um, outdated version. It's an R4 unit. It's painted, it's painted uh, black and yellow and starts to beep at you as soon as you um, come on board. It plugs itself into a terminal and it print out reads, where are my masters? Oh my, and, I don't and know Tet, how to. Tet, you might recognize this droid. Okay. So Malik looks at the droid and he's like, like looks at it sidelong and wa walks up to it and types into the terminal, "Who are your masters?" And uh, he just he just prints out a dot dot dot. <laughs> <laughs> Malik, I guess they're that's masters. The, that's the droid version of pleading the fifth. I uh, guess uh, its masters were the people that we had to take care of. And he prints out on there, he says, uh, sounds like you're, you're rolling with a real wise guy here. He's also really smart, smarter than you at least. And he beeps. Malik walks over, grabs a restraining bolt, and he sinks it into the droid, and he's like, start talking, droid. Okay, so you're going to use the restraining bolt. You can probably use that to kind of overload, like override the droid's uh, security measures and that right, sort of thing. Right, right. So in the mean, meanwhile, Elsa's kind of in the cockpit. We're getting things going. You guys have just kind of um, made it into the atmosphere of the asteroid, and you're within sublight distance of Bill Bringy, right? So you just have like, uh, uh, say, five to ten minutes to RP here and make a few rolls and see what this what? droid knows. But aren't we going to the surface of Bilbringi because we were looking for Korok Bog? Weren't he supposed to be down there? I mean, yeah. we sh we should go go there. I know he's in trouble. I can feel he's in trouble. Uh, we need to find him. Uh, uh, Kyrix is gonna. Uh, ask Elsa where they have met if they actually have met all right so Elsa she kind of just kind of uh, yells back over her shoulder says listen we're heading to Bill Bringy no matter what Bog is gonna pay me just like he's gonna pay you guys and my task Kyrix was to bring you to him and Mal she kind of goes into a little bit of the story saying um, you know how she's kind of a new unknown researcher and archaeologist and adventurer and uh, this this uh, Korag Balv fellow looked her up and hired her. Mm -hmm. Malik asks, he's like, can you get in contact with him from here before we land and are sitting ducks? I can try to hail the signal, Elsa says. Well, maybe you should. Okay. So do you guys want to uh, try to get into the droid in the meantime or... Yeah, hey, I sent you a whisper. Did you see that on Rule 20? Uh, no, I don't I remember. I'm, like, drawing a blank. I know I should know this, but I don't. 
slash um, W. Oh, uh, so remember from your from your origin story? Yeah, I know, but I I totally forget what forgot what I wrote to you. <laughs> so he was he was like uh, you were like uh, years ago you were on some mission, right? And this was your droid, and um, it wasn't the type of mission that you meant to be flying. Right. And, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah people yeah, yeah. and somehow you got separated from this droid. Yeah. But somehow. Am, am I sure it's my R four though? The same R four. No, it just it just looks like um, it's 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 kind of black and yellow, which is our weird markings for it. Okay. It's playing all black with like yellow yellow highlights, so it just looks yeah. kind of similar to you. Okay. But, but you, you don't have any any way to know that it's 100 percent your droid. Okay. So well, I, I attach the restraining bolt to it while Elsa's trying to contact Korag, and I'm like, "All right, talk, little guy." And I kind of thump it on the top of its head. Okay. So um, why don't you do a, a use computers oh, or uh, something like that? You can you can throw uh, two two boost die in because you have uh, you're, you're on board the ship and you have a restraining bolt and this guy. So I don't I don't I'm not trained in use computers. So can I still do it? Oh yeah, you can still do it. Where is that? And it's just going to be two. An so average. two greens and two blues. Two greens, two blues, and two light blues. Two light, light blues. blues. Mm -hmm. Two boost die. Oh yeah, two greens, two blues. No, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just roll the, uh, the difficulties. Oh okay. But that's gonna, you're probably gonna fail. So. Oh, did you want me to roll purple? Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, you want to just re-roll it then? No, that's fine. So, that's fine. You have to Whatever. roll against purple. I, mean, I can, but it doesn't. I don't think. Oh, about the same. Yeah. So, so failure, but two advantage. Um, this droid it doesn't tell you like what 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 you're trying to get at. Like, cause it doesn't tell you who exactly the identity of his owners were. But the uh, the droid um, says, uh, uh, "Look in the chat on D20." It says. Says Malik, is that you? Malik starts laughing. He's like, he grabs the droid and like hugs it and picks it up off the ground and like spins, kind of like a goofy kid, all happy. He's like, R4, R4, it's you. And he like drops it. See so, ya. Yeah until it kind of gets put down and its head spins around and it kind of acts like it's disgusted like a wet dog kind of shaking off the droid version of that but in the meantime uh elsa kind of yells back over her shoulder hey guys uh stop the public display of effect action there we got a job to do i just got um, a bulk signal on the on the comm and they clear us for landing we're in luck uh one of my old pals a, a guy by the name of uh, Jim Starline is there, and he's waving us on in. He says that Balg's in good shape, and we're going to go to a secure landing pad. Like, are you sure oh. about this? Who's in good shape? Hang on a second. Yeah, hold on for me, too. I gotta take care of something. something. Alright, so you guys are going to head down to the planet? Yep. Alright, so you're going down. Uh, the ship kind of uh, just begins to circle on the planet. So I asked the Jedi, I'm um, like, I, I don't know about this, Kyrix. He's like, this seems... He looks at Elsa. He doesn't, like, not believe Elsa, but he's like, I think we should probably be careful. I mean, do you think that all those bounty hunters just landed on that asteroid and they don't realize we're going to this planet? That seems unlikely. Yeah, I agree with you because I felt my master was in trouble right after you, you guys defrosted me. 
so this is probably a trap but that's the the better that's the best option we have to find his true location so maybe we need to get in that trap spring it and maybe uh, get Malik's something like, out of it uh, that doesn't sound like a real great idea to me he's like elsa maybe you could just pay me and me and r4 will be on our way she said listen wise guy you have your 500 credits for the ship here uh, mr bog is going to give you the rest and if i know jim he might even give you a an advanced believe me this guy's trustworthy malik laughs and he's like it's just like dell was trustworthy you did a real good job vetting him dell's a mercenary I, I i've known jim for years he's like what kind of credits are we talking about here because i could just take the ship and go sell it for quite a pretty penny So she says, good luck getting past the planetary defenses. Now let's go get your money. And you guys would have probably kind of okay, that's fine. negotiated that's fine. a fee up front. So I can't give you numbers. Good. No, go ahead. So the, uh, the good. <laughs> go ahead. So you, you guys are starting to land on, on Bill bringing your ship circles and circles. Uh, you hear some orders from air control and then you settle down eventually on the landing pad. It's not really that busy and you're the only ship there. Um, and the scenery is pretty majestic. Um, on planet side, it's really built up. There's buildings all around, but in the distance, you can see these giant ice-capped mountains uh, surrounding this spaceport. And there's a cluster of buildings um, kind of right ahead, and that's probably where you're going to be headed. Uh, it's midday, and you can see even really, really high in the sky, these faint, like, shining lights. And um, those probably on this really clear day are the orbital shipyards. You can see them from the planet. So these giant, giant shipyards, um, they must be really massive. So as you disembark the ship, there's a lone human uh, standing there just out of range of your ship's uh, wash in the shuttle's thrusters. And he's of medium build. He's bald on top, has some gray hair at the temples. He's smiling and his face is, uh, it's a really stern face, but it's not unkind. He has a heavy blaster pistol strapped to his right hip and he's wearing a blue tunic. And leather trousers and he introduces himself as administrator uh jim starline and elsa's familiar with him he said oh you know good to see you again elsa i can't begin to tell you how pleased i and mr Balgar to see you back safely and with your prize no less and he gives a, a nod to Carrick and says um very nice to meet you Carrick's tib mr bog has, has told us all about you uh it's nice to meet you too uh, can can we go find him? I have a lot to talk to him. Yeah, yeah. Um, the administrator says he'll he'll bring you directly there, and you guys just need to um, kind of decide who you want to bring and what supplies and whatnot you want to bring from the from the ship. And uh, the R four unit kind of is, is beeping at Malik's side Malik like a dog. Really nah, it's to he go. reaches down and pulls off the restraining bolt and tucks it in his pocket. He's like, R4 doesn't need this. And he's like, well, I'm... He doesn't really say it, but I start grabbing um, all, basically all my gear. I put my frag grenades um, on my belt and my stim packs in my uh, fanny pack. And, <laughs> and I'm ready to go. I'm bringing everything. My so blaster, frag my grenades. blaster rifle. You have the, the blaster rifle. And you guys See. have that disruptor rifle, by the way. You could have grabbed that, but it's... Uh, it's, it's, it's what really, about really the jetpack? So the jetpack is damaged beyond repair. But oh, the, yeah. <laughs> by GM Fiat. But the disruptor rifle is really damaged. It's going to I'll take leave a it. couple I'll leave that pretty stuff good mechanics I'll leave the it, damaged so stuff in the ship. That's kind of off the table. So you have the code breakers, the the frag grenades, yes. and that stuff. I give a couple frag you. grenades to Kyrix. I'll give uh, three of them to him. Uh, no, we we don't need this. He shakes his head uh, and he's right like, "Well, now. I can keep them, but I'm bringing them with me because I don't trust any of these people." 
<laughs> so you, you look like a big Christmas tree with all these grenades. <laughs> you're that's that's gonna play yep. into things a little bit. So you're kind of armed to the teeth. Okay. And so so Starline just kind of raises his brows at you guys. It's like okay, we're we're, we're going to see you. Know, we're in a safe place now. So he takes you uh, and starts walking down the uh, the jetway here, and you guys go inside and start going through some hallways. Um, is there anything that you want to ask him? Um, how long has you know uh, have you known uh, Mr. Bog? He says, uh, funny you should ask. I've known him for at least five, seven years. And I can tell and you more of the story. It sounds like you have some catching up to do. Yes, I've been out of commission for a while. Okay. So he, he kind of goes and uh, you don't have to prod him too much at all. He gives the full story about Balg. Uh, he recounts the story of Balg's uh, escape and how he went to hiding and eventually created a false persona on the outer rim. Uh, on some distant world. He said it, it all happened right after Order 66. And um, it's really like, like uh, I would say, Elsa kind of knows about Order 66. Malak has kind of heard some rumors. And Kirix, you don't know much at all besides what you've heard on these adventures. So he mm -hmm. kind of recounts what happened then and, and how uh, Balg made it off Munalisk um, uh, only with the help of his then Padawan, Kirix Tib. And he gives you a kind of a... Um, a reverent nod. He says that shortly after escape, um, uh, Baug's shuttle was tracked through hyperspace and it was shot down in an unknown system. And this shuttle crash landed and everybody was presumed dead by the Empire. And in fact, nearly everybody was, but Baug survived because of ex his extreme connection to the Force. The Jedi Master calmed himself and decreased his need for sustenance. And in those early days, he was forced to undergo extreme time periods without food or water or even air. And he braved extremes of temperature and environment. Eventually, he was able to make it off that planet and reestablish himself. So over the course of years, he kind of hung out in the Outer Rim and created a false identity and slowly built up resources um, so he can kind of put himself out there eventually in order to find his missing Padawan. Because for all he knew, those were the only two left. And because of his connection to the Force, he knew that Kyrix was alive. Um, about a year ago, he came out of hiding. And he had, had amassed all this wealth in secret and put it towards hiring Starline and Elsa and a team to put together to find Kyrix. They did a lot of research. They went on a lot of missions. And this most recent mission is is just the end of the ball ballgame. Um, and so he's kind of walking into the into Baug's office, and you have to see a Keldor standing there. Let's move the page along. All right, let me get you guys on here. Can you guys yep. all see the map there? Yep. I'm trying to figure out how to use this character sheet. Which one? If you want to just drag, you yeah. just drag it on there. Yeah. From roll twenty. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, just drag it on. Yeah, put some stats together and stuff. So we have Malik, and they they, they kind of pre shrink things and make it kind of hard. Elsa. Let's see if I had more time I was gonna make this kind of all put together ahead of time but I didn't I'm sorry we have Starline and the hamster which I need to find a better better icon for you dude uh, I'm about to ask a friend of mine who likes to draw stuff so maybe he could fashion a, a new uh, uh, you go do on DVR too and commission someone. If you're willing to pay some money. Nah, the, um, yeah, my country's <laughs> currency is worth shit. So. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped playing uh, the MMO Star Wars MMO, and 
uh, in a subscriber's mode basically because it's, it, it got too expensive yeah. for me. That sucks. Yeah. I've heard that new one um, actually. The expansion? What's that? The, the, yeah, the, the new expansion's got some pretty pretty good reviews. Yeah, actually. it's very yeah, it's very good, very very good. Have you played it? Uh, not the content, no, I haven't yet. Uh, but I'll, uh, I'm getting I'm, I'm getting a few friends to group, and we will probably be hitting that uh, soon. Gosh, I just need more time for games. Yeah, me too. <laughs> All right, can you guys see, see see everything okay? All right, good. Yeah. All I right. just think uh, Kyrix is too big. <laughs> I guess the scale doesn't matter a lot, but... Okay. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I actually missed one of the encounters, but I guess that's fine because uh, we're so stretched for time and, and stuff. It's not going to be a big deal. Okay. It was a social encounter. All right, so he walks in. He's telling, the, telling you the story, and you see um, that there is a a what's what's the name? A Keldor. Keldor. Yes. Yep. He's a Keldor. Is and that? He, he turns around. That, what's that? Is that really him? He turns around, and it's a Keldor in robes. All right, but it looks like way too young to be Balg. And so Jen Starline just kind of hangs his head and he says, unfortunately, when he came out of hiding, it also drew a lot of unwanted attention. Mm, uh, Kyrex's ap approaches and a then, few steps. And then he asks, Master? And this Keldor just kind of like crumples to the ground and just like is it a bag of bones. It's just almost like dead. And you guys hear boots just marching down the hallway. And, uh. Malik's like, I told you! From both of the entrances behind you come these stormtroopers that look just a little bit different than the old stormtroopers. They remind you a lot of the First Order troopers that are on the mo that are going to be in the new movie. And then you guys just get this like cold feeling up your spine. And behind the last group of trooper, this like shrouded in black character comes in and he just like, even the non-force sensitive, you just feel afraid, just bad shit. And he ignites a red lightsaber and stands there. He says, Kyrix Tib. The, the draw just turns around and then looks at these, the, the dark force the dark side force user behind him and he's he's just uh trying to stay calm because right now he feels his anger is about to take over so he says why why take all this work and do that kind of thing to bring me here you could just uh, go there and fetch me like these people did so why this theater he just gives like a really cold laugh and like your thing about theater just like makes zero sense to him uh, this is all part of a plan and it, it's, it's obvious he feels like he doesn't need to explain himself to you and you know Jem Starline just kind of backs in like up with you he kind of has that <laughs> that Lando Calrissian look on his face, and he's like, "Listen, um, it took us forever to find you. They've obviously kind of been playing us for the long game, and then once they knew that we had you, they 
they got here about 12 hours before you did. They took Baug, and we don't know what's happened to him. So we will take back him back. <clears throat> uh, he starts to step back. Uh, did 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 Kyrix have uh, enough time to heal Elza? I I think he did. Yeah, I don't know. everybody's everybody's 100. percent So you guys, you know, once once he kind of ignited that light lightsaber, you guys are all having a fear check. Okay. We, we, so this well, we need to roll for destiny it, points, don't we? Yeah, we got to do destiny points still. So I'll roll one for Elsa. Oh, so that's just a dark. Bleh. So I roll two purples and a force. Uh, no, you just roll a force die. Okay. Oh Jesus! Whoops. So you get two light sides. Yeah. That's fine. I, we can just discount yeah, the other yeah. ones. And then Kirix. Just one dark side. Yeah, he rolled a dark. The force is in balance. Delete. Uh, there we go. The force is in balance. And so this fear check is going to be. Uh, so this guy has the terrifying talent, and it says PCs make a hard fear check uh, with a setback. Okay, it's going to be a setback because it's the first time you guys are encountering anything like this. So you guys roll against three purples, a black, mm. and, do, and do your, uh, uh, I think it's discipline, I believe. Uh, yeah, I think so too. My discipline is one yellow, two green, versus three purples and one setback, right? Yeah. Oh, damn it. I get a success and two threat. Okay. And he has the failure. Yep. Bruno, Bruno does. Yep. Yeah, I have a failure and a setback and a threat. I'm not going to roll one for Elsa. She's not going to be doing much. Okay, so uh, Kyrix, you have, for the rest of this encounter, you have a setback die. Added. Okay. Um, and I'm going to use uh, the threat to give uh, two strain to Malik. So. Okay. So I'm down to 10. So wound. Oh, red is going to be wounds. Oh. Okay. Um. And we're going to say blue will be strain. Doing on here. Yeah, you need to um. So double click the tokens, and you got to go to the advanced and do it. the C. We yeah, we can't see it though. So what you have to do is you have to go to double click the token and go to advanced. Okay. And then it's like C okay. bar, and you can just click on yes you can't you can't see no we can't see him because you have to go to the advanced tab and let us all see it i figured that out the other day settings. oh here we go bars there we go you see all that stuff then i you yeah see i now? see it mm -hmm, on me Okay, so I'm just going to do it like a negative two. So you have 10, 10 yep. strain now. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then Kyrx Tib. I'm just going to make a little red dot next. Oh, crap. Look, red, red dot. Actually, I'll do like a fear thing. You're afraid. Be very afraid. Oh, it looks that's a death. They want death. There we go. All right. So um, they just kind of start to march forward, and they, they, they're going to engage you in, unless you guys do something. So let's do uh, initiatives now. So okay. I have uh, initiatives rolled already. Why don't you guys roll your cool? And it's, un, it's unopposed. Right. 
is three. So, uh, let's see. Let me just add these guys in. Add turn. Glad I brought all my frag grenades to throw. Yeah. We will need them. Mm -hmm. If you, you want to fight these guys. <laughs> uh, there is there is an exit up here up here there is there's there's three exits okay there's a window here the uh, kind of top right corner and there's yep. the two there's the exit by the dark side user and there's the exit by um by the, yeah, the, the stormtroopers yeah the other stormtroopers how many are they in in each group four uh, there's four in each group. So it's going to be, it's going to, if you are trying to like run, get the entire group past them, it's going to be extremely difficult to do that narratively. Mm. So, um, no, I, I already rolled initiatives for these guys, so, um, Malik's going to go first. And Kyrix, you're going to actually... There's one of the stormtroopers that was. So does the R4 droid go with me, or does he um, have his own initiative, or does he just not do anything? I'm gonna let him go right after you. Actually, okay. you can kind of tell him what to do, almost like a okay, or something. How's that sound? Yeah. And then um, again, if guys, if I wasn't doing this right after being out of town, this would be. More ready to go. So Kyrix is going to be after after the droid, and it's going to be one of the troopers. Like this, and Jem and Elsa just kind of fall back behind you guys. So you guys are kind of here at the bottom of the steps, and they're kind of behind you. Malik said, "Good job, Elsa. Good job." Say, listen, I'm not the way one getting paid here to fight. All right, so I'm going to um, toss my frag grenade right into the middle of them, and then I'm going to move, try to move back into cover afterwards. So that's a uh, ranged light. They're pretty close, I assume. What is that? Two, two or three? Yeah, it's it's, it's gonna be close range. Not engaged, but close range. Okay. So that's uh, two. Uh, that's two green and one yellow, I think, for ranged light. No, actually, I take that back. That's four, three green, one yellow. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna throw my frag grenade into the middle of them. So yeah, so you have uh, how much is that grenade? I'm do? looking because I have one in my inventory from before, I think. Unfortunately, you're not going to be able to activate the blast quality. Eight. Yeah, get, get enough advantage. Eight. So it's eight plus uh, plus four, four, so twelve damage on those guys. Yep. Let me do this again. Nice suggested yep. threat. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, maybe the explosion hit the the power supply and got and everything got dim lighted. That's gonna help you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think he he suggested that? <laughs> it's supposed to be a threat. I was like, on you guys. I was like, why are you helping him? <laughs> We're gonna we'll use it to give you two more strain. All right. 
this thing just kind of blows up right in front of you and this just the smoke and everything else the lightsabers flickering behind the smoke and you're just like oh shit you're kind of shitting your pants all right so now i'm gonna run backwards as far as i can well i'm gonna run like uh in this area if i can get there it's like, it's like the console yeah in that area just to give myself some cover yeah, next time I'll, 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 how can i give you guys a? let's see do you guys know how to give permission for you guys yeah to you got to go on the character sheet and then it, there should be something that says uh this person can edit and move or something along that but then you have to go in the character sheet and assign a token to that character Let's just not worry about it this time. Yeah. I'll figure it out. I, I can I can show you. I do that. So. All right, so you're you're hanging out right here. Yeah, right about there is fine. All right. Okay, so for R four, yeah, can I work. um can okay? So I don't know if he has this ability, but uh, no, and R two did it. He has the smoke screen thing. I'll, I will tell you what he has. Okay. I'll tell you what okay. he has actually. Um, let's see here. This guy. Uh, I had him pulled up. Uh, where's your droid? Where's your droid? All categories. He has. All right. What are you looking for? Uh, the smoke screen thing for cover for all of us. He doesn't have that, but that sounds pretty sweet. It sounds like a destiny point flip. Nah, uh, I'm not gonna do it. that. Go for it. Well, you go next, so you can get the cover. I think I think that could that could help you whether you choose to eventually run away or fight. I'll let it. I'll let it last a few rounds if you want. Let's just get the fuck out of here. Yeah. All right. If they didn't die with the explosion, these guys are too much for us. Now these. I need to apply their wounds. So you did some da damage um, to the stormtroopers. So you did what? Twelve. Yeah. You said. Yeah, twelve. So, um, actually. They're five apiece, so two of them die. Two of them are just like blown against the wall. And there's two left, and one of them is like bleeding from his armor. So, will you use it? I don't want to waste it. Um, but, alright. Is he going to do I it? it. Alright. So let me see here. I bet there's probably a smoke. Yeah, sweet. Smoke. How about like right there? Is that what you're yeah. talking about? Mm -hmm. Alright. And then R4 will follow so me. Cool. So this whole line is kind of obscured now, so that's cool. Very slick moving. He follows you. Okay. All right. Kirix is up. Okay. I'm going to run because there's not much I can do right <laughs> now. But just be careful. There are some guys over here on the other side. Yes. So I'm going to run. Can I go up here? Yeah, like still in the console, or are you going to go to, like around towards the window? No, uh, uh, just jump over the console. Yeah. Hey, two two maneuvers can put you on the other side of it. Uh, yeah, it would be great. Yeah, I can't do anything else. I'm gonna grab my my blaster pistol. Do I have it? I don't think I have it. Yep, I have it. No, I don't have it. So I've got no weapons. Nice. You have your blaster pistol. That's fine. You have it. You okay, so I'm drawing. You wouldn't have got off the uh, the plane without that. 
Okay, uh, I'll just draw it. Can I draw it? Yeah, it, you, I'll let you do that. So, so you, you kind of like run over there. You, you second maneuver. I'm just gonna say you kind of slide over this thing and draw your weapon, and that'll be it. Okay. Get to cover. All right. So he's, this guy's turn now. The ones that uh, they're down. They're down to two NPCs, and they're going to fire. <laughs> uh, they're going to aim and then fire at poor Elsa. And they, the cover gives her what? Like gives them a setback or something? Uh, yeah, yeah. So she's gonna, yeah, give them a setback. Actually, we can say two setbacks because they're unnerved. They're unnerved from this guy behind them. <laughs> So they're gonna fire at her. Let's see some true stormtrooper aim. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see here. These four first order troopers. I know. Oh, their stats are the same though. <laughs> so he has. So ranged heavy it's three. But there's two of them, so it's gonna be. Two greens. Let's see. He's gonna we're gonna do. Uh, it's gonna be two greens, a yellow, and they're in short range. And then we say two of those, and they aimed. So it's gonna be a, a light blue. Ignore my force dice. So nothing, and then one threat. So I'm just gonna give them a set, an extra setback on their next one. Let's get. Let's call it extra setback. It's called a. How long does this fear uh, take to wear? wear it's, the, it's, the, it's the entire thing, entire uh, encounter. Oh damn it! Stupid X. All right. So now it's this badass's turn. Um, okay, Malik, if you take this guy out, uh, I'm gonna get his lightsaber. <laughs> Leave it all to me. I have no weapons. I can hear you up. I can patch you up. Oh, this guy's such a badass. I'm just I'm trying to pick, all, pick and choose what I want to do here. I would be happy to kill him and give him your lights or give you his lightsaber, but I don't know if that's going to be an option. I mean, I can. I, I mean, whatever. I will try. Maybe you should have taken the frag grenades like I told you to, little hamster. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I should have. Uh, Jared, I can see my my health bar. Yeah, you just make sure it's like he's got the. You can't see it. No, I can't see it either. That no. means this that that um, box isn't clicked. To see that bar, whatever that bar one is. No, 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 let me check it real quick here. Advanced. There you go. Can you see yep. it now? All right. So he's going to do. Uh, He's going to do. Uh, he's going to spend two maneuvers. Mm -hmm. First, he has this uh, this badass talent called Aura of Command, and he can, instead of he can spend a maneuver to give an action or maneuver to anybody else, like any of his lackeys. So these guys down here are going to shoot at Malik. Okay. Okay. And you're under, you're uh, cover, so they get a setback die. Yeah. Um, and they have ranged heavy three. So there's four of them. So they're actually going to be. They have blaster rifles. Green. Yeah. That's ungood. 
Doesn't he have a, a, a cover? Yeah, he does. Yeah, he's gonna step back. So, um, they're gonna shoot at him, so it's gonna be three, three yellows against two purples and a black. Oh, damn it. Oh. So you're gonna be hit for... 11. Uh, it's 10. 9. And 10. You hit. Oh, they... You hit for 10. Okay. Well, that counts as success, too, so it is 11. You're right. So you're hit for 11. <sighs> but what's your soak? What's your uh, soak? 3. So it's, what's, uh, yep. 8. So you get hit... And then I'm gonna crit ya. First of the game, fans. We're gonna use the triumph for a crit, so I'm never gonna see a throw percentile. So, oh! <laughs> Damn it. Oh, let me look up my book here. I'm sorry, friend. I knew you should have run. <laughs> I was in the process. Some guy. <laughs> it's it's okay. If you guys didn't fight, it's 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 uh it's all built in. Neither of you guys have a crit table right next to you, do you? No, I'd have to Actually, look through my book too. Actually, I have I have my PDF pulled up. Um, conflict in combat. Tables six. Um, trying to find where that thing is. It might be in the uh, weapons section. That stupid crit table. the way the, the crits and strain work in this game it makes it uh, 96 is a severity hard how about this oh that's the ships here it is I found it 249 that's ship the so 96 ship. percentile it's going to be engine damaged yeah that's the one you have that's for ships. Fuck. Should be somewhere else in here. Critical injury, 223. Okay. On page 225. Crippled. Yeah. Uh, one of the target's limbs selected by the GM is impaired until healed or replaced. Increased difficulty of all checks that require use of that limb. That's what you get for injuring me. You get disconnected. <laughs> so we have an next spectator. Yeah, it's Wolf. And Wolf. Uh, hey Wolf, what's up? Howdy doody. How's it going? Yeah, not too bad. Playing around in the background making Dracula and Wolfman and Frankenstein. Oh, nice. Nice. Just in time to watch me get I killed, I think. <laughs> yeah, I was listening. I was kind of, I was chuckling. Man. Uh, we might need to go to another. Yeah. Yeah. I'll post it. If... Yeah. All right. Should just use the same one. All right. I'll, I'm gonna drop off. I'll, I'll send you the link, Wolf. Okay. I've I've got the um the form side up. Uh, I link it there. Okay. All, All right. right. Mm -hmm. 
We're going to say um, you're... Uh, I think uh, Imuf would want to get that link to... I'll send it to him once I get it. Do you want arm or leg crippled? Uh, um, I don't know. Arm. If, well, if I use my ar arm, I can't shoot my gun. You won't need to shoot because we are getting yeah here. probably arm very good all right he's going to use uh instead of doing an action maneuver he's just going to do two maneuvers and he's going to use the other maneuver to give this group here a maneuver so they're going to move roll 20 still loading there. for me so okay but, okay and that's it. So it's him. Hey, do you have a, a link for the um for the G yeah. the Google chat? Yeah. Is somebody watching? Yeah, somebody was watching. Uh let me find it. Um, I'm gonna post it here. Perfect. But, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna post it to the shout box. All right. I'll be careful. I just hit something. I hit a button. And I think I back out of it or something. That's fine. All right. So it's 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 these uh, the southern group's turn down here, and they're gonna aim and shoot at Malik. Oh my god! Again, you know, <laughs> again, you have a setback. Um, so they're going to have that, they're going to have that, and they're going to have three, three of the, uh, three yellows. Ian Wolf. You ready? Yeah. Alright, let's see what they do. Oh, I need to roll a difficulty. I want to roll it. You lucked out that time. Oh, they miss. They miss. Um, you lucked out, dude. <laughs> yep. They miss. Um, but uh, they do have three advantage, so they're going to take their uh, advantage to pass a boost die on to um, this next group of storm. This next group here. So the ones that shot were these guys? No, the ones that just shot were the southern one. So they shot they twice. Was, their action turn. They, they were able to shoot yeah. twice mm -hmm. because of the aura, aura of Right, right, right. Yep. I was just curious. So. I didn't know which one it was. Yep. So that was our action. And um, um, for their maneuver, they're just going to aim for next time. You can do that. All right. So that's their turn. And so uh, Malik's up again. Run. Run. Okay. The, uh, there's an exit here. There's an exit over here. And up there. Okay. This way. They're, yeah, they're all blocked except the window. All right. Well, can R4 get through this? Like right here. Uh, yeah, but it's going to take two maneuvers to get to the other side, and that's all you can do. Alright, well, I'm just going to run towards the exit. For Malik. He's, like, holding his, sh his shoulders, like, limp, his left shoulder. And he's just got his, like, rifle in his hand. But, like, can't shoot with it, really. And he just, he's, like, wincing, and he just runs towards the exit. Over okay. this way. All right, I, I would say that'd be a maneuver for you. Just one. Yeah, I was caught one. Is this is this open or is this? Um... It's a it's like a glass. You could you could bust your way through it with 
with force um, or shoot it. And it's just it's going to take an action to, to I'll get shoot that it. glass. Like best I can, just so with that, the rifle in one hand, just like. So you're like. Ugh! Right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> All right. So, so you you open up this glass and it just shatters everywhere. Some of it goes in Tyrix's fur. And your your buddy, I guess, is just going to kind of yeah, he's you. just following me. So he starts beeping and he does some of that lame Revenge of the Sith jet thing. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Elsa and and the admit, and and Jim just kind of clamor after you guys too. They're like, "Get us out of here! Get us out of here!" Yeah, Jim is gonna get an ass kicking from me after this if we get out of here. Okay. Kirks? I'm gonna heal uh, Malik because I know we'll need him. Good call. Roll it up. You're engaged. You're engaged. Range. Yep. Two life light side points, so enough for heal. Uh, four wounds on him. Oh, Probably good. getting his crippled out. I would, yeah, take the cripple for, well, I don't know, what's my hit points right now? Is it... Can that, can that take away a crit? I don't know. Yeah, because the, the entry on crippled says, one target's limbs is impaired until healed or replaced. That means heal the crit. And to, and to take care of that crit, you have to have a hard um, medicine check. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So, so just the hit points. Uh, right now, I can't. The crits on this game are kind of cool because they're pretty, they're persistent. And he's not going to need, to, he's not probably going to have it healed. This, mm -hmm. this session. Yeah. So he's going to be gimpy. Okay, but at least he's got. Oh yeah, more yeah, yeah. Hit points. I'll give him four hit points, so he feels better. So what am I up to now? Um, Eleven. Eleven. Okay. So what's your? Uh, that's your action. Do you want to maneuver? My, I'm gonna move. Yeah, just go over here, and I'm going to attract the southern guy's attention. Maybe they don't want to come and you. get me, you bucket heads. <laughs> so you kind of, you kind of caught him a little bit. Okay. All right. Now, please shoot those guys. There's only two of them, so... It's their turn now. Yeah, I go before you. I can't shoot. I got over here. Yeah. Now nah, I was talking to Elsa, Elsa and, yeah. and Jen. Right. Okay. Jim, the traitor. Elsa will take a, Elsa will take a shot at him. So she's going to use her maneuver to aim. Is it their turn though? Oh, Elsa already went. Yeah, cause she followed. She they go last. She followed you guys. Yeah, yeah she they followed you guys. Yeah. yeah, it's their turn. They can shoot her though. There's only one in sight. They definitely can. They're gonna aim. They're gonna shoot her. Plus, they get a boost. They get a, a setback um, for something or other. The table oh, yeah, might get on their way. Yeah, they'll have they'll have two. Yeah. So two we'll do two setbacks. Well what to be fair, one of the setbacks were for this fog and I don't think they're in that fog anymore. Well, um we pass the setback along to them for something else. Okay. No, it's not a setback. It's not a setback, it's a, it's a boost he got from the southern guys. He gets a boost, but he had a setback that somebody did on our Well radar. I think I think it's I from think, that yeah. cover there. The, the smoke screen. Yeah, I think this I think so too. Yeah. They probably shouldn't have that set back, okay. honestly. So I was giving one because she's kind of in partial cover. Okay. So they'll aim and they'll fire. There's only two of them left, though, so their shot's going to be not as great. So it's going to be two two greens and a yellow against a setback and that. And then it's short range still, so. Oh, oh, mm -hmm. sweet girl. Um, so that's nine, it's twelve. Let's see what else is. Their 
her soak is only two. Uh, it's not looking good for her. Um, so she's hit for ten. Does she even have ten? No, she has two left. Well, at least they can't shoot again, and she can run and get in the window, get out of here by the time. Yeah, hopefully. I'll let you guys see her bars too then. There, can you see her yep. bar then? Cool. All right, so that's that's them. They aim the shot, and then. <laughs> oh man. What to do, what to do. These guys are so good. Let me see if he has any force power stuff that we could use for fun. He needs to come after you guys. So, um, he's going to take one moon over to move. So he, I would say he's in the medium range now because you guys moved away. Okay. Mm -hmm. He's going to take one maneuver to, to move here. Um, and the second maneuver to move. Uh, let's say to the top of this thing, you stand on top of it. All right, and that, that is, uh, he's gonna take two strain as well to take two maneuvers and still get an action. And then he's gonna take a shot at Tyrix with his lightsaber. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Duck! <laughs> Duck hamster get really close to the ground. Oh jeez. So this is this is this is how meaty this is. So he's engaged range. And he's uh let's see. And let's see. He's kind of has a bad angle, so I'll give you a set give him a setback. Do you have any boost or anything else applicable to you? Mm-mm. But you have the fear against things that you use, so that's okay. All right. What? Is that possible? What? He missed. Uh, he missed. He yeah. Missed. But I he think that's an advantage. What did you roll? Oh, four, four, yellow. Okay. Yeah. Look at that. One, two, three. There's four, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. I don't even know what to do with that. <laughs> Um, okay. Somehow, maybe I'm blocked. Some of our somehow our escape is blocked. I don't. I don't know if that's applicable, but uh, yeah. Maybe the lightsaber hit the the table next to me, and then the sparks flew all around. Then some hit my eye, and I got blind. Yeah, I'm gonna give you even another setback die. How's that sound for the rest of the? Um, rest of the encounter. Yeah, I'm getting for the fuck for, out. For, for anything requiring vision. That sound mm -hmm. fair to you? Yep, it does. Um, so, let's see here. Where's your little... There you go. So, let's call it... That thing. <laughs> Alright, so you have, like, those two setbacks. What was that red for? I don't oh, know. Red dot. I'll take it away. I'll take it away. Okay. All right. He can probably do more with that many advantages, but I'm just gonna leave it like that. He's like, <laughs> he's just upset. This guy's a brute, by the way. He's just like massive. That's him. Uh, these guys down here still need still need to to, to go. Um, they're gonna move. They're gonna move here, and they're gonna fire at Kirix. And they have uh, all their numbers, so it's going to be short range. It's going to be three yellows. Um, 
And that's about it. Uh, let's see here. Let's take that off and roll it up. What? <laughs> Miss three advantage. I want to uh, use the, the three advantage to do an extra maneuver. And they're going to run up to engaged, engaged range with you guys. And the the the, the force user is just kind of like, God, get out of my way, because he's going to, he's just getting angry. And he's going to come after you next time. All right, so we're back to Malik. No, uh, get actually, fuck out it's of here. Uh, it's Elsa and Jim. Uh, yeah, and... Elsa and the R four guy. What do you want them to do? Oh no, not the R four, but the Jim guy. All three of them. Or, oh, yeah, Flee. yeah, yeah. I'll say, Jim. Run. Flee. Okay. Elsa just kind of hobbles over here. She looks down. Hey, guys, there's a drop. There's a bit of a drop. Just do it. And Jim's after her. He's like, you know, we don't have much choice. Get out of here. And she, he, she, he kind of gives her a little nudge over the side. <laughs> she goes down. She's like, ah, she hits and like thinks she might sprain her ankle. And he just follows soon after. And he's like, oh, man, it is quite a drop. Like, you know, he's he's kind of bruised up a little bit, too. Okay. Uh, me and R4 are running and jumping off the ledge. Okay, he, he goes pretty easily because of his uh, lame uh, flying ability thing that he has. But for you, uh, you want to at least have to do an easy athletics check. So that's against uh, one purple. Athletics is yellow here. two green. I rolled it. Right, yellow two green. All right. So <laughs> you didn't get it. So um, you are going to take. Uh, I'll, I'll mitigate the damage a little bit and do uh, uh, actually five wounds. Okay. So, so I jump we'll off and here. I just fall straight on my back <clears throat> and I start like gasping for air as I'm trying to crawl to my feet. It's pretty banged up. Kirix? Okay. Um, just... Yeah, so you're going to do the same? Yeah. <laughs> I'm can getting can I here. use one of my advantage uh, to give him a boost dice on his roll or something like that? Absolutely. I'd like to do that. I'm not rolling anything. Oh, yeah. You can just float down? Yeah. Okay. Oh, what do you got? Um, my my move power can can bring me down safely. So I'm gonna use my maneuver to get out and jump. Okay. And then I'm gonna use my force power to to move me uh, down without a hurting. Ah, damn it! Now I pass it. Now I'm not. I'm putting the things back up there. Okay. So are you going to um, use the are you going to use the uh, dark no, side there? No, I'm Tap not going to pain. No, I'm not going to use it. I'm just I'm just going to hit the floor. See, so you try to call in the force and it it fails you, and you think you're going to hit softly, just like hit hard. So these yeah. I, they're supposed to be ten damage guys. But I thought that was a little harsh because I'm, this is not a far drop. For so. ten, I would be dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like drop, even like the easiest drop. Splatted so hamster. Ten. Yeah. Five. So, so you hit hard too. And then, uh, so you guys now are. I'm using two strain to uh, get a new maneuver to stand up. All right. On. Now, is there any way to move these tokens to the next page, Bruno? Yeah, you you can you can select them all, yeah. copy and paste on. And on the other. Drag and drag over them and then copy. Yeah, it should. 
everything, so just copy them all. Yeah, so just like a normal night, hold, drag, and then control C, and it should work. Let's see if I can get everybody. Um, Malik, just throw a grenade in, into that room before oh, we okay. go. Yeah, I'll pitch a grenade back up. I'm not even going to make you roll for that. That's so sweet. I'm just seeing black. Yeah, because I have the fog of war thing, the GM screen turned on this one. Okay. So I'm going to do... Basically, I'm going to have to use my pistol the rest of the way, because my arm... I think I got yeah. one. You can use my rifle. You can hold it. With my crappy agility, I don't think <laughs> I'm the best one to use it. Sorry, I wanted to get a lightsaber for you, but it just wasn't happening. Yeah, no problem. There we go. Okay, so then I just, I just kind of cut and just paste everybody yeah. on. There you go. Oh, yeah. you're huge, though. You're huge. All right. We look normal, actually. Yeah, the problem is the scale on this map is a little bit different. Oh. That's that's fine though. I'll just do it real quick. All right, so you guys, um, mm. you guys all just kind of come down and hit, um, and you're you're starting to be bruised and battered up, and you hear you hear his lightsaber switch off. And he's pretty high up. He's like, like, you know, let's just say 10 meters or so up there. So they're not, he's not coming down after you just, just yet. And you throw a grenade up there. Yep. So move that from your inventory yep. and it just explodes. And now nobody's following you. That, that window just collapses and you hear yelling and screaming like the stormtroopers. Like maybe you took a lot of them out. Okay. I'm down to four. So you guys now. are. Yep. So. The first thing Malik does is he grabs Jim by the throat and with his good hand. And he's like, I should kill you, I should kill you. Just, no, no. Come on. No, he's, he's like, listen, he's... listen, listen, we didn't have any other choice. At least this way, Baug is safe. I was able to get him away. I don't know what happened to him. Uh, they're playing you. They didn't actually capture him. He's, he's alive somewhere. I don't know he's if he's not off the planet. Safe. I don't he's know not he's... safe. I felt, I felt he's in trouble. Uh, I'm gonna heal Elsa because she's very. Ah, damn it! No, I'm not gonna heal her. I'll give her a, one of my stem packs. Shock. I have five of them. I take my stem pack uh... and I just poke her in the butt with it, and heal her. With... kind of sub-level area is there um and there's a long hallway you can see that right yeah mm -hmm. and this is just kind of a rp type session and it's kind of a modified skill challenge okay. you know you can say go you know go left or right and then um you know I'll, I'll throw in maybe some stealth checks that sort of thing so what you're basically mm -hmm. need to do is do two successful checks and if you don't get them there's going to be some Things happen. Um, so, so we're thinking stealth, we need to get out of here. whatever you think is appropriate. So Malik basically, we need to get out of here. Yeah, he slings his blaster rifle back on his back and pulls out his pistol with his good hand. And he's like, "Yeah, no shit, we have to get out of here." He's like, "Do you, he looks at Jim? He's like, do you know how to where to go from here?" That's a good idea. Yeah, follow me. I believe up this way there's a um, uh, there, there's a way out to the landing pad. 
to get back to your ship. Okay, Jared. Uh, if we ever stop for anything that gives me enough time for another uh, power check, force power check, let me know, okay? Because I really need to heal Elza and Malik. Yeah, yeah. I think this is going to be a little bit of time, so we, you can take you can take some time here. But in the meanwhile, you, you guys, you're going to have to make a, a hard stealth check to remain undetected. Because this is just a map, right? You know, you're kind of sneaking around down here. And this place is crawling with Imperials. Or what, or what you think is our Imperials. If the stealth is to remain silent, I'm going to use my move force power to float. But if it's uh, related to vision or any other kind of detection, uh, I'll, I'll roll. I'm not going to make everybody do the roll. I think it's going to be a combined group thing. Mm -hmm. So uh, I need to look up that floating thing. That just doesn't seem kosher to me because I don't, I don't see people floating around too much. Uh, do you have any of the upgrades? Yeah, I have uh, a range upgrade. Because I, I thought the, the basic power just does a silhouette zero. That's are, correct. Are, are people sil silhouette zeros or are they silhouette ones? Silhouette zero. Yeah. Uh, people, people is silhouette one, but Kyrex is silhouette zero. Uh, it makes sense because he's so small. small. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I'll I'll allow it. But do you think I? Do you think I can wait my decision? <laughs> Let me see. Oh. My stealth is one green. Oh, so so four green with the boost. When I get the chance to heal, okay? You can go ahead. You're moving along. You guys don't see any, any evidence of anybody, and you're being pretty stealthy. Fuck. Use the what dark side. Oh, yeah. you can't. You can't use it, because you don't have any decimal no, points can't. left. Uh, the, dark side, uh, the dark side, I can only use to harm, and I get conflict if I do, so I'm just ignoring them. Well, what if I, um, so Elsa, what, what is her Elsa, hit point? Elsa's like, you know, we looked a hard time for you. This, <laughs> your power is like, uh, your, your master seems to have misplaced his trust. She's getting a little snarky because she's so beat What's, up. What, what is her uh, wounds compared to her total? What is she at still? Because I gave her a stem pack, right? Uh, yeah, she's not awful. She's got six. Wounds from ten. Yeah, six from ten. Um, I'll I'll be like, I just pass over another stem pack. I'm like, let's go. So I give her a healer all the way, I guess. All right, she's up to ten. Okay, all let's right. go, let's go, let's go. All right, so you guys are slinking along still, and and R two's beeping here. So you guys are going long, and uh, let's do 
another another hard hard stealth. Or you guys can do whatever else you want. Do you have survival or whatever makes sense? Stealth's best for me. I mean, stealth is pretty yeah, good go for me. For it. Okay. Remember the boost. Yep. Okay. So it's gonna be four. I'm gonna upgrade mine this time. I'll put a red in there. Nice. Nice. <laughs> we failed. No, he failed. Fail. Oh no, that's us. No, this is, oh, okay. this is, your, this is yours. You fail with four advantages though. So uh, you get. So there's some. What just that? This could really go. A mad lab. Maybe we can get some steam packs. Good. So there's two troopers that notice you. Okay. Th this group is only a single one. Okay. Okay. Let me see if I. Yeah, they're only single troopers. And Come on, we have four advantages. Can you just get rid of one of them? All right. I'll do it. So these guys come around the corner. Hey, stop. It's just a single trooper. Well, and I have uh, my blast. I have my blaster pistol. I'll take a shot and try to shoot him. Let's do let's do uh, initiative real okay. quick here. Let me clear out clear out the old one here. So you guys want to roll first? I'll do this guy. Cool. Is it vigilance uh, or cool? You guys, everybody, everybody's going to do vigilance on this one. Okay, I'm gonna boost my my vigilance uh, and reduce my setback so that it's two yellow, one green, and one. Uh, blue. Okay. All right. And what's the difficulty? Or no uh, difficulty? It's just for it's just for um, initiative. Oh crap! Ooh. Ignore the. And mine's going to be. Huh, I get. I still go last. Curix, me, and then him. Yep. So, Curix, you're up. Uh, I'm going to use my force power to move that table over there uh, in di uh, directly on them. It's not going to hurt because I don't have enough power to make it hurt. Mm -hmm. uh, but I want to give him a setback because uh, it's calling his attention. Absolutely. And maybe uh, he'll knock lose prone balance. Or something. I, I'll let knock him prone. Yeah, maybe. Whatever you want that to give That would be me. really nice, actually, because I have point blank so I can ah. move up on him. Oh. He's wow. the dark side. No, I won't. Give into it. Side. Give into it. It's, it's like hardly any conflict. No, I don't want any conflict. Uh, I'm gonna move over here so that I get cover. Fucking gerbil, man. Won't take any for the team. <laughs> no. No, not this time. Alright, your turn, Malik. Alright, Malik's gonna rush the guy. Goes straight in front. He runs up directly in front right of him here. and then points his pistol and lets one off right at his head. And I have point blank. Oh, so what's that? Uh, add one Is damage per hit? rank of point blank to damage on hit of success attack using ranged heavy or light at short range or engaged. So add one damage per rank, and it's my first rank, so just adds a damage. Oh, you could have been using that. I know. Well, you didn't really shoot anybody. All right, so it's going to be uh, rolled against one purple then? Uh, yeah. Let me see what my light is. It's not as good. <clears throat> Alright.
Yeah, but it's only one trooper. Oh, okay. He has five HP. Okay, so, so five. What's, what's your pistol like? It's five, five plus three plus one, so nine. He's dead. You put a blaster bolt right through his helmet. He's just gone. I turn around and I go, let's get out of here in very dramatic fashion. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to heal him again. Come on. Okay, so four wounds for you, Malik. So you're healing him up again? Again? Yeah. Again. All right, there's another guy that comes around the the, uh, the, the, the the corner then. You guys are taking all this time. Elsa, quit fiddling around. We got to get out of here. We are hurt. We need to, to heal up. Well, let's go. Let's go. She says, uh, sometimes, sometimes you just need to power through. So this guy's right here. He's going to roll a... I'm going to roll a, um initiative. Hey, stop! Hey, heal him up. How many are they? So he gets he gets how many HPs? Me? Four. Uh, he gets four, four. more. <laughs> Get up to ten, then. And he's going to roll. Oh, he gets to jump on you guys. So he's going to use both his maneuver and his action to uh, both take out his comm link and then say, hey, down here on the sub levels, we have him down here. Everybody converge. Now it's Malik's turn again, or Kyrix's turn. Uh, do we do we need to roll again? No, you didn't need it. I just I just inserted it into the order. Into okay, it, so you guys rolled before. Um. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna try to use again my move to get this box. Wait for some for some reason. I see. Uh, I see what you're talking about. This box here <laughs> on them. Come on, work this time. Come on. <laughs> ah, Just do it. Just do it. <laughs> Just do it. It's like one conflict. <laughs> Aren't you getting pissed? Okay, go. Okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm getting pissed. So <laughs> give me, give me that clown conflict. All right. So this box flies over and uh, blasts into this guy. And now he has uh, a setback against him, and he also um, falls prone. All right. So he's it's prone. only one, right? So, yeah. And the next session, it's, it's, you probably still want to have a net positive morality, I would guess, unless you roll really bad. Malik? So. Malik's turn. So Malik just, like, runs straight for this guy? Steps on his chest and points down and fires. Dude, I'm gonna give you a, a boost for that one, and they get a set. They get two setbacks because they're prone and they and from the object. So. So that's. So roll it. That's two boosts oh. action. Two so yeah. boosts. Is it two boosts? Yeah. So do it against against one purple, two boosts and. Um, My skill. So three yeah. green, one yellow, two blue, one purple. Mm -hmm. Wow. Now you kill him. You, you, he's dead. Uh, I'm going to get... You can use that crit for something else. So how about... Um, when I'm shooting him, it goes through his comm link and causes feedback. And like disrupts the message or maybe it doesn't disrupt it but like screws up everybody who's listening to it so it like slows them down essentially Elsa the, the voice of reason has it has any better he like she comes over and like rips the comm link out of this guy's dead hand and hands it to uh, to Jim um, who's known as a traitor and, and she's like listen here's your chance at redemption call your dogs off and Jen's like, this is Administrator Starline. Uh, 
Uh, everything's uh, okay here. Everything's in hand. There's, there's no problem. Is this is this guy look like the dude like from uh, Cloud City with the box on his head? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. He's, this guy's this guy's better than that. He's a mixture of him and a little bit of Lando. Okay. He's not totally incompetent, but he got he got stuck in a bad situation. So. Okay. We'll see about that so, if I don't throw him out in space. So, with a triumph and an advantage, the uh, the guy on the other hand says, "Roger that. We'll continue our search up here." Okay. So it's a good thing you rolled that crit then. <laughs> yeah. And he goes. He, he kind of points. Um, he kind of points this way. He's like this way. There, no, there's a, there's a um, there's a maintenance lift up up to your the landing pad. It's head there at now. Okay. I head that way with Let's my move. sagging shoulder. All right. So we have everybody. You just gonna run, try to get in your ship? I think so. Yeah, but we don't have a clue to where my master is. I I say I don't give a shit where your master is. We just need to get off this planet. I could care less. So so see see over here like there's lift over here. It comes up, okay? Yep. There's what? The lift that you're like this is just obviously. Not a okay. real picture, but your lift as it as it comes up, it's like it's like uh, uh, it's it's Starline, Elsa, the R four unit, and you guys, and you're all just battered up. You you kind of are coming to the top of this landing pad, and your ship's on the left, and you see down this causeway, just at the end of it, there's just like hordes of stormtroopers, and then behind them, uh, again, you just just see. Just from like behind the legs, you see this. This guy's coming, coming for you. So I yell, "R four, get the ship ready!" And I'm going to take out my frag grenade and try to throw it towards the entrance, to maybe collapse it or just stall him. Anything I can do. Oh, done. Can I? Can I? Uh, I'll just do that. No. For a moment. That's awesome. Can I can I throw uh, the R4 closer to the ramp? His <laughs> silhouette zero, so I should be able to move. It. Yeah, do it. Let's give you some more dark side points. No, I'm not gonna use dark side points. Uh, you're weak. Ah, there ah. you go. <laughs> and he just starts so beeping when you directly. when you pick him up. He's like, <laughs> and just starts beeping, so going nuts. R R4 is like doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> you roll him up the ramp, and he just starts making his way to the cockpit. He kind of knows what you're doing so you guys are running running to there and Elsa's like come on guys let's get out of here okay and so the R4 unit starts to fire up this the ship's engines and you guys can get out of here when you, when do you I want. need to roll uh, for the frag grenade or is it just no. okay. it's, take it out of your inventory it's, it's well used okay. because you guys are gonna get Three. murdered <laughs> damn it let's go and then I'm the last up the ship hit the button for the ramp and run towards the cockpit. All right. Punch the buttons and take off. All right, you guys lift off into space. You're up into the space almost. And, uh, you know, as soon as you get there, you kind of know what's going to happen, right? Mm-hmm. Seen the movies. They know you escaped. I know you escaped. Um, so, can you guys see the space thing yep. now? Yep. All right. What can you see? Can you see your ship? Yep. Yes. Can you see anything else? Tie fighters. Four tie fighters. All right. So, uh, as soon as you uh, get out of the atmosphere and into or orbit, your scanners again start going off, and Elsa just smacks her head. Ugh. Not again. Who betrayed us this time? And Jen's like, listen, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. They knew we were leaving. Come on, let's just get out of here. Punch it. So um, this this ship is, is called the Blind Spot. That uh, You found out that's the name of the ship was from R4. And um, 
there's lots of questions racing through your mind, but if you don't want to be captured by Empire, you know you got to punch it. As the pilot engages the engines, you feel the deck beneath you tremble. Then now the uh, view of this, uh, the, the starport starts to fade away. Um, soon you're in the upper atmosphere, and as you're making your way towards a safe jump position, all these uh, four, star, four TIE fighters come onto your... your uh, come onto your scanners so i've started you out at a speed of two okay. i'm gonna make it so you can see this um so you can see this token all right can you guys see that yep. now yep all right and i while i was on the plane today i rolled the uh i rolled the initiatives for the um for the TIE Fighters. So why don't you guys just do a uh, vigilance check, both of you. And then we'll put the TIE Fighters in. Unopposed, right? Yeah, unopposed. So are you gonna roll yours? Yeah, I, ro I roll mine. I I have rolled two successes, three advantages. It's under uh, Jason's. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, have you rolled it with like a boost die and all the other shit too? Yeah. Okay, so it's two successes. That's fine. So I think you guys are going to. But you you do know I have a, a boost die because of my talents, right? Oh, you do. Yeah, oh, sweet. So it's gonna be. You're gonna be. There's actually two of these Tie Fighters that rolled really well. Then Malik is going to be after you. So how many uh, turrets does this ship have? So let's see here. Vehicles. So we have... Uh, you have a 28 hull trauma, 15 system strain, 4 silhouette. Uh, maximum speed is three. Uh, as far as ordnance goes, GHTRC light freighter. Oh crap! I think this one might be in one of the splat books. I don't have. You don't have that book, do you? Let me get it. Uh, enter the unknown source book for details. I can look it up online real quick. It's I have, I have it, same. it here. Uh, armament double, double laser. It's a double laser cannon. This frontward mounted. Let me check. I think it is. Yes, it is. Um, can I do the gunnery and the piloting at the same time, or no? I think you do because it's it's front. For, uh, uh, it's mounted on front. No, number four is gunnery station. Uh, someone has to be the gunner. I think there's a front one and there's a dorsal mounted one, isn't there? 
Well, the Wikia says it's only one double laser can, unless it's uh, modded. It's in the book, the Edge of the Empire book. Let me see if I can get it here. I, I didn't. I didn't think it was actually. I think it's someone like the source books. Starships and vehicles. What is the um? Laser cannon. What is mana? Is it like you talk or whatever? Mhm. Mm Maybe it is in here. Cause I think it wasn't that one the one of the ones you can choose as a party resource. Yeah. Be called uh, I think uh, Ashes profile. Fire spray lambda. Let's just treat it as something else for now. Just do um, like a YT thirteen hundred or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Just do that. That's that's fine. That's pretty standard stuff. Which it means it's going to have two gunnery, you know, laser cannon and gunneries, but one of them is going to be uh, probably three sixty. So they have. One dorsal, one ventral turret mount, a medium laser cannon. And that's it. But they can do all firearks, so that's good. And then, then there's a lot of other actions that crew members can do. I just kind of did this scene so we can kind of experiment with how this works. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now because I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to go for engineering. I think I might be better at... That. What's what's else's uh, pil piloting? Can anybody else shoot these guns besides myself? The gunnery. Yeah, I have gunnery of four, uh, four greens, but I have three greens and one yellow for piloting. Piloting, pil piloting is not going to be piloting. Like in comes more into play, honestly, if you're in like a dogfight that sort of thing. Um, so let me let me pull up Elsa real quick here. As long as she can manage it decently. So her skills. Uh, piloting space. Uh, two greens. Just two greens. Yeah, but this um. Good. I think I stat out this this other dude too. Jen. Jen's not going to be able to do it too well. Can either of them shoot the, gun the gunnery? They don't have, neither one has gunnery. Uh, okay. You can put Elsa on flying this thing. So Elsa runs to the front and say, listen, I'll, I'll take this. You guys need to get kind of over to the other side of the map, opposite to you. Okay. Let's say to make a jump. And uh, you guys can get stations. Now you guys, anybody can use anything untrained, right? Yeah. And you're, and you're against TIE fighter minions. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I look at Elsa and I tell her, don't run into an asteroid for God's sake. And I run back to the gunnery, the, the laser turret and climb down with one arm and uh, am I going to take a penalty because I'm hurt probably uh, you know what I, I wouldn't say so uh, okay like maybe every once in a while I'll do it but how about I flip a destiny dice to goes. not have that happen perfect 
and I'll, I'll use mine liberally this scene. So I get my adrenaline up and don't worry about my arm and climb down and grab the grab the um, handles and sit down and get ready. And the R4 unit starts heading towards, you know. Yeah, R4 um, should pilot. Is who should pilot actually? Maybe I don't know. I don't think he's very good at stuff like that. He can do all that other technical stuff pretty well, though. I think. Well, if he does, then uh, maybe he should because I don't have training. I only have four from intelligence. I can uh, that's, that's eight. Good. Him. That's, that's actually really yeah, good. That's good. Four, four greens. Yeah, is good. that's when I'm going to be rolling for gunnery. Four so greens. Let's go. Let's do it. Okay. I'll probably be doing damage control. Okay, let's let's go. All right, so uh, Tie Fighters are going first. So uh, so you guys are in a, a long range right now. Okay. Mm. Yeah, punch it, punch it. Well, the ties are going first, so they're all at a uh, speed two as well. Okay, and this first guy is going to. Uh, he's going to punch it. But we're going in the same, like, they're heading straight for us, right? What's that? We're, we're going in the, the same direct. well, we're going in opposite directions, right? So they're coming right at us. Yeah, they're, co they're coming at you. So he's going to move, he's speed two. He's going to, um, let's see, increase the speed. Trying to figure out this work because space combat's new to me. So these minions can't suffer strain, but I think the TIE fighter itself can do system strain. Does that make sense? So they can do four system strain. Just looking at some of the stuff here. Uh, I can uh, increase the shields on the left side okay. of the ship for one strain I really hate that this this app only it only is PC because I can't have it up on my MacBook which would make it a lot easier so what so what this first tie is going to do is is do punch it and he's going to move to six speed and it suffers four system strain uh, so so he does that, and then he's going to move from a long range uh, to, if he speeds six, he can move from long range to short range in one, in one maneuver. So he's going to be in range Good, I can um, of weapons. But in order to move through this astral field, it's going to be a pilot check of... Uh, it's a very light asteroid field, so he's going to roll his pilot against a one difficulty. Elsa's going to kill us going through this thing. You guys have a lot of hull trauma you can go through. Tight pilot. Piloting space is three greens. So he gets there, and he's going to have, he's able to kind of come up on the other side of this asteroid on your flank, and yeah, it's going to have a, um, a boost die next time he goes. His buddy's going to do the exact same thing, and it's going to follow right behind him. So he's going to punch it. He's going to take four system strain and he's going to make a pilot check. Success with advantage, so he's going to have a boost as well. All right, it's uh, Kyrix's turn. I'll uh, increase. The left side shield power 
for its uh you mean the front ones it's a boost shield because they are coming from the whatever side, side right? they're coming from i think is what he wants to do yeah it's yeah yeah it's so, the front you guys only have four and aft it's a hard mechanics check so four green three purple and the ship takes one strain from this any setbacks or anything? Oh, let's make it simple. Damn it. Fail on the boost. So you just want to pass along a boost die, whoever goes next. Be me. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. So Malik swivels in his chair, seeing the TIE fighters, and starts pressing the trigger, baby. Open up on this front yep. one. So, uh, four green and one blue. And again, at what, what do I roll against as far as purple? It's two, two, uh, um... Medium range? It's, in Starfighter, in Starship Combat, it's weird because everything is two purple. Oh, okay. Alright. Like, the range doesn't matter. If, if it's in range of your weapons, like, the computers are accurate enough to make the okay. shot. So it's always against two purples, so... I rolled. Wow. You lit them up. So, uh, these are what? Yeah, I don't know, uh, if the weapons have any special properties that I can use an advantage with or something, but... Um... I think he's just toasted. That would be good, too. Yeah, six. Because they don't have any, any shields or anything. Yeah, this first one's gone. So, I'll use... Can I use my advantages, then? Uh, so the first TIE Fighter breaks up, and the pieces from it slam into the other one uh maybe making them not be able to m move or um shoot would three advantages be that good or not uh how about two sets uh, that'll work yeah he's not very good pilot so this guy's just like boom so he's gonna be and I, I look back and I go, ha ha, I got one! Okay. Nobody? Nobody? So that's you. <laughs> They're not giving you any high fives or Nobody's anything. like, don't get cocky? Come on. <laughs> Keep up, Kip, <laughs> don't get cocky! It's not over yet. <laughs> Uh, both these guys are just going to use uh, two two maneuvers apiece. They're not going to punch it or anything, and they're going to move. I can't make a good Tie Fighter sound. <laughs> they're going to move over to here, but not going to take any strain. They're still going to be. They're going to use. Uh, let's make their pilot check. Three greens against a purple. both succeed with an advantage. I rolled them at the same time because I want to move quickly. I have a feeling that these guys are small fries to you. You guys have a lot of hull trauma. I right, this guy's toasted. Alright, so this, this dude's up here. And he's going to Let's see. He has two setbacks, right? Yeah. But he's like in short range. I'm, I'm just trying to do some things that are a little bit different so we can kind of learn Starship combat a little bit. Let's see what he can do. He can do that gain the advantage, can he? Uh, I believe so, I with a piloting can. role, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. Stay on target. Gain the advantage. Oh, he needs to be... Yeah, he, yeah, he punched it, so he does have speed of six. And yours is speed of two, right? Mm hmm So, initiating should... So it's going to be easy check up for him. So it's going to be easy piling check, but he hits two setbacks. 
and he gets a boost. So that's that. Three pilots. So he's going to try to gain the advantage. So. Constant frantic killing Positions himself for a better attack during the following round. To execute this starship action, the pilot makes a piloting check. So he gets to ignore all penalties and choose which defense zone he wants to hit. Alright, let's roll it. He fails. So, um, he doesn't gain the advantage, but he's able to kind of circle around. Let's say he's able to kind of, um, he flies through that explosion, and he's now on your kind of ventral aspect. And so he's right now kind of, you can't get at him with your, your guns because I think, close well, Malik can't get with him. Kyrix can, right? Kyrix, did you do the ventral guns? Um, are you here? I don't think so because I, I'm. He's in um, engineering. Yeah, okay. I'm in engineering. All right. And so uh, Elsa's Elsa's turn. Elsa should have gone actually before that, and she's going to just pilot. She's going to do two greens against. She can try uh, is evasive maneuvers. Well, for us to go forward, does she actually have to make a pilot roll, or is that just to get through the asteroid field? Uh, to go forward and move in this light asteroid field, she needs to do a piloting check and move. Okay. And she can and she can also uh, increase your speed by one. Move you up to three speed. It's going to make it a little bit harder for you guys to hit. Um, and she's successful with a, a threat. So let's just say um, she's able to kind of get through these asteroids, but they're, these asteroids are kind of moving into your line of sight, and so the next person to make an attack is going to have a setback against them. Sound okay? Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, Kyrix. Uh I'm going to try to cancel the setback by using the fire discipline uh, check, using my discipline. No, that's uh, good. It's, this is a hard check, and if I'm successful, I'm gonna give him a boost. Each additional two successes grants this to an additional crew member. All right. uh, in, a, in addition, the crew member may spend three advantages to allow every hit from star sh starboard weapon to inflict one system strain on their target, as well as regular damage until the beginning of his next turn, as the carefully timed shots pummel shields and overload systems. So, Kyrick's discipline is actually good. Discipline. One yellow, two green. Oh my heart! Uh, I don't, I don't know if it's gonna. Okay, let's see. There you go. Oh, there you go. Okay, so I'm successful. So he's got a boost die. But, but there's a threat over here, over there. I'm just going to give a boost die to whoever shoots at you next. I don't like that. What do you want? Okay, <laughs> that's all I can do right now. Alright. So... Alright, Malik's turn. These guys are in range, but... Um, I'm going to have a setback for them. Or was that removed? Uh, no, you have both. You have a setback and a, and a boost. And a boost. So, four green, two purple, one blue, one black. Yep. yep. For this lead guy here. Ah. 
You just but can't shoot it. That's fine. At least for advantages. Uh, can I give them setbacks for their next, or can I take away their boost or give them a setback or something? You could do it for both of them if you want. Let's do that. With four. Yeah. All right. Let's see. I'll take it and one away. All right. So now these got these two guys' turns. So they're going to. Uh, they're kind. Of, they're in short range at this point, or close range. So they're both going to. Um, they're both going to aim and, and fire you guys. So they get this. They get. Let's see. Adversaries. Tie pilot gunnery three. So they get three against two and one of those. All right, we want to go. One of them here. So three hits. I really need time to print all this shit out on paper so I can memorize it. Um, so six, three. What's your? De you you have defense too, I think, on this thing. So I should have added a setback in. Mm-hmm. Because your ship has defense. Yeah, still three hits. So that's fine. Um, so you take six, nine. That one's armor's three, so you take six all damage. What about, uh, what, uh didn't uh, Kyrix boost our shields earlier? I couldn't. Oh, okay. Yeah, he failed. Oh, he failed like everything else this session. <laughs> yeah, today's not a good day for me. So the ship gets rocked. You guys take a little hit there. And then the other one fires. And I'm gonna upgrade his role uh, using a destiny point. Da, he misses. Great. But he's gonna pass another uh, another boost die on onto his comrade there. All right, so it's Elsa's turn. Um, you guys are about two rounds away from the jump point. So she's going to try to fly you. Maybe she should try here. to punch it. She already did. You guys oh, only okay. have three speed. Uh, oh, I see. Mac. So you went from two to three last turn. Okay. So um, her maneuver is going to be the pilot here. And she's two and two. What's the handling of this thing? Does it say? negative one so it should actually be another setback setback die so she's trying to get through these asteroid fields and she's successful doing it but again these asteroids just keep getting in the way and many rounds you guys are going to have a setback you know, on any attacks All right. And so it's Kyrix's turn. Um, doing fire discipline again. Uh, we need to kill these guys. Ah, fuck. I never got, for some reason, one of my TIE fighters disappeared. We killed it. Off the, oh, the, we blew it up. I know, yeah. but I only, I only have three on the on the list now. Yes, because you you deleted the... the... Oh, okay. That's fine. I'll, 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 I'll have them go after you. Should you do fire discipline? Nothing in the threat? Yeah, just a threat. Uh, threat. I'm gonna give a boost to this guy here. Then from that. 
Alright, I try to track the... Oh, it's not my turn. Yeah, I'm going to NPC turn. So I'm going to take this guy here to come up on you. He's going to fire. So two. He's got a boost die. So that's eight damage minus your three. So you take five again. Uh, I've got the the uh, stats on the the seven seven two zero. Oh. Do you want them? Sure. It's from I, the beta. As far as the weapons and stuff. Yep. Uh, okay. It's from the beta. Yeah, the only thing I need are the weapons because I have all the hull, hull drama and all that stuff. The weapon is a dorsal mounted twin laser cannon fire arc, all range close, damage 5, critical 3, link to 1. So that's basically kind of the same. Right. I'll figure out that next time, it's getting late. All right, it's Malik's turn. Okay. Is that, is that, is that, is that pretty much the same weapon as, as the uh, YT has on top of it? It's very close to it. Yeah. All right. All right. Malik spins and points at the closest TIE fire and starts shooting. So what do we got here? Four greens, two purples, one black still. I don't think we get black. Do we get black? A black one? Yeah, because of her yeah. Uh, pilot. Yeah, because she got the right. So no boost, right? Yeah, no uh, boost. No, because his fire discipline failed. Still hit. Still hit. What's your dam? Dam? What's the damage on that weapon? Then? It's five, right? It's five. Five, six. Oh, barely got it. Then it still explodes. Explodes. Boom. You got it. Basically comes through, shoots shoots through a tiny asteroid, and the laser goes through it and blows them both up. R4 starts beeping. Elsa's like, I know there's a reason why I hired this guy. This is not worth the credits. Nothing that I've got so far for sure. So there's another one. These guys always follow in the wake of their brothers that are getting blown up. And he's going to fire. He gets no boost though, so it's two against two. So it's going to be six, seven, three. So you take four hull damage. He hits. You guys are kind of a tank compared to these ties. You're down to 13, but you're still doing okay. He's going to pass a boost onto his buddy. This guy's uh, going to be now. shit out of this because he's got like three boosts. He's got he's got three boosts at this point. <laughs> so this guy is going to do a pilot to move to um, to close range because his speed is six. He can just like fly up there because he punched it earlier and let him. Do this little pilot check here. Make sure he doesn't. Can we give him a setback? Or, uh, what can? Oh, he failed. So he's gonna take some halt trauma. From Maybe he just blows up. That would be nice, actually. I'll actually. Can, can I spend a destiny point to yeah. increase his damage or something like that? I think. I think if he does collision damage and he's a tie, he just blows up. I'm, I think he, he's. They're so flat. They're like right. if you nick them. They just yeah. blow up. So he does it too. He was so excited to get us, he just ran into an <laughs> asteroid. Alright, so, um. Alright, Elsa's back. Alright, guys, let's do this. 
and uh, she instructs R4 to start doing a, um, you know, hyperspace jump coordinates. Um, she moves to here. Let's do her piloting check. Two against two. Blank, so she just fails. So let's just say that, um... We stay there for one more round. Yeah, yeah, she can't jump. That sounds good. Can't jump. Kyrix's turn. Um, try to boost the shields. The rear shields? Yeah, rear shields. Or you could just, uh, can you like uh, repair damage or anything like that? Uh, I can try, but uh, my athletics is just Oh, one. it's athletics to think... do that? That's a mechanical, the mechanical one? I think there was one with intelligence too, wasn't there? Yeah, mechanics is, oh, but manual repairs uses athletic, athletics. Okay. I thought there was a man. I thought there was Get up there with like a blowtorch and. Yeah, because uh, actually, if you There's read. Damage, the damage, you can do damage control. Damage control is just for strain. We are. We have plenty of strain okay. left. You can, do, you can do it for hall trauma. You can? Yeah. Yeah, you can do hall trauma. Okay, I'm gonna do Likewise, it. a skilled mechanic can even repair some of the damage dealt to a vehicle during ongoing fight. All of this is trickier. They can only do one damage control check per um, encounter. So you reduce hull trauma by one point per success. So hull trauma equal or more than half. So just do an average. So average which, which, is, which is better? Is it better to boost the shields? And I'm assuming. I don't think you're going to get flown up in one hit, honestly. Yeah. He, he can crit you. Okay, so I'm gonna repair it for uh, green to purple. Anything else? Uh, I don't think so. I could use the destiny point. What you think, Jason? Uh, at this point, go for it. Yeah, why not? Because we're this is. I think he's gonna move up on his shoot, and I'll shoot him. I mean, yeah. Wow, oh, nice. Awesome. So you do six. I heal him. For, six I heal the points. ship for six points. That's like pretty fantastic. Oh, uh, suddenly Elsa's like, "What are you doing back there? This thing's handling a lot better." Uh, just stay quiet because I don't like. Uh, <laughs> don't like target to do. Uh, yeah, I don't like. To do uh, what Malek usually does when he gets it right. <laughs> so that's it. Uh, it's it's time, the Tide Fighter turn. I, I think that guy came up last time. I did a, I did a two purples. Let's do this here. So he fails this check too. Fails his pilot. <clears throat> I just want to have him take a shot, though. <laughs> Why? You want to blow up? Fine. No, that's fine. fine. Go ahead. I'd rather shoot him than blow up an asteroid. Let's see if you. What well, if you miss? Unlikely. <laughs> she'll, she'll still be able to. She'll still, she'll still be able to jump. So, um, let's just give give him like a, a two setbacks because of that. So he's gonna do two, two. He'll probably miss anyhow. You guys have a shield, so I haven't been doing this right. So you guys have uh, one defense in your aft section. So I had to set back dive on, kind of at baseline. If that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. So he missed his just a straight up miss. Malik's turn. Uh, Malik's gonna shoot him. 
So four green, two purple, right? No setback now. Mm. Yeah, I think you still did have one. Still do. Well, she yeah. she passed her last pilot check. I thought. Well, whatever. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. I'll take that off. I need to come up with some sort of vernacular in order to track this yeah. stuff. Four green. So second session, we're still four green, two purple. Stuff, so. Roll it. He's exploded. Boom. Then Elsa gets her uh, calculations. And you guys blast off. Great. Now we don't have any clues on where my mastery is. Malik walks up from the gun turret, sits down roughly in the chair, and puts his head in his hand. He was like, this is the worst job I've ever taken. What did I get myself into? Kyx just holds his head with his two hands and then says, What now? I need to find my master. He needs me. He needs my help. Well, but I have no clue. I go, I think we might be able to find out. And Malik stands up and goes over to, uh, what was his name? Jeb? Jeb. <laughs> Jeb. 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 Goes over to Jem, and he's like, "It's time for you to start talking, Jem." He goes, he goes, "Hey, hey, hey, hey! Just one second, just one second, just to prove that I'm on your side. I'm on your side." He reaches down in his pocket. And he pulls out. Got my hand on my blaster pistol. A lightsaber hilt. He says, is this? Is this his? his? This is his. But he didn't want, he didn't want to fall. It's your master's. Is. He didn't. He but, didn't want to fall into the wrong hands if he should be captured. Uh, but is this it? Is it? Is this really it? Yes, yeah, this is your master's lightsaber. Oh, I'm, I'm grabbing it like it was a, a sanctified relic. Yeah, what is that thing? It looks like a metal cylinder. Yes, it does this. You gonna turn it on? Yep. I have way too much music here. Malik steps back and he's like, oh, one of those. Because obviously he saw it in the. when we were getting attacked. Alright. Here, I'll turn it off. And he'll need this. I have to take this to him. He's like, well, I don't have any idea where him is. I go, do you, Jim? I'll have to meditate. Maybe I can feel his presence somewhere in the galaxy. And uh, Jim sits down hard. He said, you know, he's still is probably on the planet before... Before these guys got there, they locked everything down. Malik's like, so we have to go killed. back down there? No way. The imp the Emperor Imperial Remnant is all over the place. We just got out of there. We can't go back. I understand if Elsa, you don't Elsa, want to go. Elsa turns and says, so from all this you've gone through, you're going to turn back now? I never figured you for a coward. <laughs> He laughs and he's like, I'm the only reason you guys are alive, so I don't know what you're talking about. Elsa, Elsa raises her hand, I vote we go back. And Jim raises his hand, I vote we go back. And R4 starts beeping and he's like making fun of you, calling you a chicken. Um, I understand if you don't want to go back. I really do. I thank you for all that you've done for us, but 
I really need to go back there. I need to find my master. So, if you would take us to somewhere, we can get another ship and then you can be on your way. Uh, let's see, I think this whole ship is a, pay a good enough payment for your services, right? Malik nods and he's like, yeah, I think you're right. I'll take you to the nearest port and if you can buy passage back, then I'm okay with that. I'll take the ship as payment. That's fine. He's like, I like you, Kyrix, but you know what? I don't understand why I would put myself in danger in a suicide mission for someone who might not even be, you know, might not even exist. And you're trusting this gym guy who has already betrayed us. I don't. There are there are things that you have to meditate on in order to feel I feel my master is alive Malik just rubs I, his face I feel he's there he's like okay that's fine I you can do it religions yeah <laughs> sounds like a I'll bunch of uh, nonsense to me but I'll take you to the port but, I like you that's fine I uh, wish you the best but I, uh, but I see that you might end up getting even richer if you manage to help us Ma, uh, as Jen, Jen said, said he got himself a fortune uh, and then he might oh, be able good. to compensate you Malik shakes his head he's like look I'm done going on missions that I am not clear on what the what is actually happening here there's obviously a lot of uh, backward dealings in this, in this, and I don't, I don't trust your master. I don't trust him. I don't trust Elsa, and I, I trust you just R4, because. R four just gets a really like sad beeping noise. And Elsa, do you trust like, me? I do actually trust you because you've been in Carbonite for so long that you, you would have no uh, reason to deceive me, but. Yeah, the money's nice, but I've been burned before, and I don't feel like being burned again. Elsa, well, says, Elsa says you'll be famous. Malik <laughs> just shakes his head. He's like, I don't want to be famous. <laughs> okay, I tried. We can continue can the RP on the, on the website, guys. I know it's been a long night for you. Okay. I really need to go to bed. It's 3 a.m. <laughs> over here. I have to wake up in three hours, so oh, yeah. <laughs> I really have to. I have an idea anyway. Um, I'll talk to you about it, uh, Jared. Yeah, I'll, I'll write. I'll write like a summary post um, online, and we can do like I think what after two sessions, I think what the best thing will probably be to do is be to do some RP on the website. Then we get to a really fun like burst of action then do it on here and that way i'll have time to prep and make it run really smoothly yeah that's a good idea because what okay. happened with this one is like i had these shifts and we went on vacation i didn't have my computer with me so i didn't get all the preps that i wanted to do no i think um, it's a good idea yeah that way they could be maybe a little bit a little bit smoother i guess yeah, no yeah so. It's good. It's still fun. Though. Okay, guys. Uh, thanks a lot. And Jared, please don't forget my XP. I have a lot of stuff to buy. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, I same. can't give you guys so much XP per, give him 50. per session if give you're going to do that frequently. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll post it on the website. Can I, can okay. I get uh, will, uh Can I heal myself with my med pack? Will that heal my uh, critical wound? Thing? Nah. I won't. I'll heal you. I'll, uh, I have medicine now, so I can give you uh, a good enough treatment for for your critical wound. Okay. We'll just roll that on the website. How's that yeah, sound? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. Okay, guys. Thanks a lot. Are you done, uh, Jason? You gonna hang out? Uh, I can stay for a little bit. Okay. Bye, bye. guys. See ya. Can talk, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you could have talked before, man. 
oh man, I wasn't going to do that. I had you on the background while I was reading stuff. Oh, man. I get some more. I get, get a couple drinks here. Uh, it's, a, it's only one. I'll be up to probably about seven. You're going to be I'm awake until seven? Time, so. Dude, I can't sleep where you crap anymore. Impressive. Back. Oh, it used to be my nickname in high school. They used to call me Robo Rob. Oh, really? Nice. Yeah. I'd like get in the chair at the parties where they'd all pass out in front of me and I'd be like King Conan. I'd be like in a little single chair. <laughs> and when they pass out, I'd be in that position. And when they wake up in the morning, I'd still be in that position looking at them just like, hey, good morning. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Yeah, I'm actually really tired. I was struggling through that whole thing. Just like staying away. Yeah. I don't know why. But I think I'm... Oh. Got the house too warm or something. It's been raining the past two days here. Oh, really? Yeah, it flurried the other day for the first time this year, which is pretty surprising. Usually we have our first snow right about uh, Halloween. Yeah. 